Hey everybody, it's Kathy P. Welcome back to my channel. It's another beautiful day down here in Florida. Yesterday and today is just beautiful. I love being able to sit out here by the pool in, in this, you know, and just out on the patio and do these videos. It's just calming. And all you hear is critters sometimes, the birds or even the squirrels squeaking, looking for a peanut. Because <laughs> my kids have them so spoiled. But anyway, this video today is, the stars of this video are Olivia Olive Oil. Great name, Uni. Good shout out. But, and I don't mean no shade to her by that either. I think she's a very pretty young lady. Besides that, olive oil was the bomb, man. Popeye was nothing without olive oil. And then we got the Bullhorn Strangler. She's the other star. They um, begged for money from their followers to pay for this trip yet again to Moscow and Wazoo, Idaho. Because the clickbait queen here said she was going searching for the murmur weapon. I bet you they don't search anything. I bet you they don't. I want to see him get down and search. Not walk around streaming. Get down and search. Not going to happen. But anyway, we're going to get back. We're going to get into this because there's a lot to cover. And I didn't do the whole live because it's such a long live because they stream for hours. And, you know, editing, I edit out a lot of fluff talk because who wants to hear it? But you got to be careful with that because, you know, then they get on here and say, hey, you know, that's not what I said. You edited that to make it seem that way. Well, no, because I'm just learning. Uh, this old goat's teaching herself all this stuff. And I couldn't do that. <laughs> so anyway, uh, but I do know they've said it. And, uh, of course, they're all wrong here. And, you know, Olivia's just as bad. Oh, olive oil. She's, I think, in some ways, she's even Mark's. Because she's conniving. She's sneaky. Does it behind the scenes. But she co-signs the misinformation. She's Betty Slapdog. She puts out misinformation. You know. Now her new story is, I guess, with her TikTok. Because have you ever watched, seen her TikTok? I mean, she has some off the wall conspiracy theories over there about aliens. But apparently she had all this evidence to prove stuff. And it just either was deleted or was stolen. One of the two. You know, just... Voila. Once again, her evidence is gone. Go figure. <laughs> I don't understand how that crosses over into true crime. But then again, they're not true crime. And her claim to fame, we all know, is that water bottle. She didn't find Gabby Vitito's water bottle. That is the biggest farce I've heard. I cannot even believe anybody bought into that story. The store right down the street sells the water bottles, as well a lot of other stores. Very common water bottle. There was no DNA, no fingerprints, no proof it was ever Gabby's, other than her saying so. Just conveniently, as soon as she gets her claws on the ground, she looks down and voila, there's the water bottle. Oh, please. Pathetic. <laughs> yeah, okay. But let's just get into this because it's probably going to be a longer video than I wanted it to be, but let's go. Oh, and this is fair use, and it is covered under fair use, Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. I want to shoot that out there because I like to falsely strike channels. So, guys, let's just get into this and see what they're going to do. Not been found. So, the weapon has not on the been hunt. found. We know. You guys are just going. Let me see if it pops me this way. Hold on. Let it switch. There we go. So, we're going to go for a ride. Oh, so, as exciting. you guys pull in, you guys are going to be going Everybody for a ride with up. us. Betty's taking us for a ride. Can't you feel the excitement? It is. Let me get uh, my camera turned around so you guys can go for the ride. Oh dear. We we identified a spot um, near and around here. Oh, let me get. Wow, that's like really loud, louder than it usually is. Betty, it's an alarm to let you know Sorry, you guys. need to wear your seatbelt. All right, there we go. Yeah, for your safety, Betty. There you go. In case you're wondering so this is the community that right over there is brian's apartment and this is the parking lot and then you go this way and there's like a field back here on the side that, no sir that uh, could potentially be something betty there's a field that's you know, something you that's a there, big but there's a you know fence and stuff and a fence around you the guys field can't really see 
That's a big barn, Betty. Okay. Uh, yeah, but you can see that there's like a field over here. Let me just uh -huh. get out here. Okay. People, there's a field that is a good barn. And Betty, we've already seen the outside of BK's apartment. Don't care. Can we move on? Because the field is not that big of a piece of evidence, Betty. You haven't discovered anything yet. Let's take them, take them out. So, oops, yeah, I got my thing. So we've got, you know, Brian's apartments over there. You got this large parking lot here. You've got a dumpster wow. over there, and you've got a few dumpsters over there, and a dumpster over there. So they got a lot of dumpsters in and around uh, this apartment complex. Why is that important? Because Why? we don't know where the weapon is. Betty, it's an apartment complex. They have to have a driveway for people to access the complex, Betty. They have to have dumpsters for their tenants to throw their trash away, Betty, Betty, Betty. Don't you think the police have already covered these bases? Do you really think this Ph.D. student is going to take the murmur weapon and just pitch it right where he lives? Really, Betty? Oh... She is obsessed with dumpsters, and you all know why, right? You all know why. Because she's upset. She is obsessed with Toasty. We all know that. Okay. Don't, yeah. Okay. And you've got this whole, it looks like some place that they do gardening in. Whoa, you don't say. You know, this looks like a, a community garden. It's got shovels. Possible, baby. Look at this. Shovels at a garden? You know, they need to come out here with a metal detector because look what's right here. What? There's this shovel. There's a shovel. This garden. And a garden. And his apartment complex literally right there. Do you think he was over there gardening? This would be a prime place that I would think somebody that's coming back in the middle of the night after committing a murder. Mm. May want to consider hiding evidence. Okay. And lo and behold, there's a shovel right there in ground that's disturbed right here. A little what? concerning for me. A little concerning for me. Why is that concerning for you, Betty? It's a garden, Betty. What is a shovel, Betty? I'm waiting. I I'm waiting for your answer, Betty. The shovel is a gardening tool. <laughs> Not an issue that there's a garden, a shovel at a garden, Betty. Um, and I'm sure they have agricultural programs at those universities, so that's, you yeah. know. But, Betty, do you really think this man, in the middle of the night, pitch black out, is going to go right across the street from where he lives, scale a fence, and just so happens there's a shovel, people, a shovel at a garden it's for him to upturn all that soil and bury the murmur weapon. That shovel clearly looks like it hasn't been touched in a minute, but in that ground's not freshly dug, it's frozen. Okay? <laughs> but the biggest thing is that there's a shovel at the damn garden. Can you... Can, what? Wow. That is something. You know? Forget that the shovel's a gardening tool. <laughs> But uh, again, oh, not sure if he just dropped the knife mm. somewhere in here or he actually tried to dispose of it. I'm okay. I'm unsure. And then there's that's the main road right there. That that that's a mouthful. You're unsure. No, not unsure, Betty. You have no clue. I doubt very much this dude just tossed out that weapon for anybody to come along and find and everybody to see, Betty. And isn't tossing it out, throwing it away, the same as disposing of it? I mean, <laughs> I don't know, Betty. I'm asking you. I've got questions all through this video for you, Betty. You and olive oil. I hope you can give me some answers. But, Betty, I have one of your off-the-wall theories. I have off-the-wall theory to match yours. I'll give it to you in a little bit. Let me know what you think about it. Getting out. But... Again, here's one. We've also identified a body of water. Wow. We identified a body of water. There's water in that light, in that town? 
And for those that are just tuning in, don't forget to hit the like. I don't expect that we've been dropping so many videos. I don't think anybody's getting notifications for the rest of the day. So you guys would want to check back periodically if you're not already doing so to see what Olivia and I are dropping. But again, Uh, uh, trust me, Betty, you don't let nobody forget that you're dropping anything. And you always try to run up olive oil. But that is really, and there she is back on that damn shovel. Now she went from the, from the trash bins to the shovel obsession. Go figure that there would be a shovel in the garden. <laughs> I just, I don't know why there would be one there. <laughs> oh. Here is a shovel. A shovel. An area for gardening. Great mm. place to dispose of any evidence. Okay, so you're supposed to be there searching. This is what you got money off your followers for. To pay for this trip so you could go search. So I want to see you climb that fence. Go in that garden and actually use that shovel. You know that gardening tool. And look for that murder weapon, Betty. Come on now. You said you were going to search. This isn't searching. You got to get down and look for it. That's what we want to see. That's what they paid to see. I think they should get a refund. I'm just saying. And again, his apartment complex is right there. I mean, his actual building, right okay. there. Okay. And what does that prove? What new discovery is that, Betty? The shovel at a garden? It's like a garden, and there's a shovel. Oh, oh my God. A shovel. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, and, and olive oil sits there and co-signs it goes along with it because she's her lap dog and she's just as bad if not worse but they are obsessed about this shovel there is a shovel at a garden people that is new evidence that is breaking new evidence I'm not trying to mock this case in in any way what happened what it was horrendous that this animal took four beautiful innocent young lives it's just unfathomable i just that you can't make sense out of ever but these idiots these clowns need to be called out on the crap they're doing and those subs need a refund because this isn't a search this is nothing but a clickbait title for them to get some free time to go trampsing around thinking they're important when everybody's made it clear the police the parents, the town, they didn't want them there to go away. But they came back and doubled down. They don't listen to no one. They don't care. Say hi. Oh, I yeah. can't with her. We got Olivia behind the wheel. Look at that. Mm. I can't. I, I think I'm a pretty good driver. She's been oh, a pretty good driver. I just can't with her. I see. She hasn't you, ma made my butt pucker yet. I, oh, oh Betty, it's, the day is still early. <laughs> <laughs> TMI. It's only ten thirty here. And I, Olivia Sorry, guys. Just, I, I, I see right. I see her. I see right past her. I see right through her. However you want to put it. She is not the naive little innocent thing she plays. She is very cunning, conniving, and sneaky. And buckle in opinion, before you guys start getting your. Uh, just my opinion. Go. It is just my opinion, people. So where are we going now? I don't right know. Now, You're we're driving. Going we're going to the pond. Two minute drive away. It's not very far. Wow, and you're really showing us all the town. We're gonna go check it out and just you just know, see. Because you have to think, you know, a map. Put yourself in his shoes. Put yourself in the shoes of a murderer who just did something heinous. They have a weapon with them. What are they going to do? I would assume that he planned, but if he didn't Don't plan, assume. You know, what do you guys think? Where? Olivia, don't assume. And I can't put myself in his shoes because I would never do something like this. I would never even entertain the thought of doing something like this. Um, so, and Olivia, you need to, to get some education and some training. You do. Um, because your theories are off the wall. 
as your owner, they're your lap dog. You're, you know, you're her lap dog. But, okay. I can't with this girl. Would be the first place you would think to put something. I, I, By the way, guys, Happy New Year. I, I have no idea, Olivia, but I'm sure you know where he put the murmur weapon since you just conveniently find important pieces of, I'm not sure what you call it, crap. Because it's not evidence. But okay. Happy New Year. Uh, I keep yeah. forgetting it's January 1st. I know, we've been working. Like, mm -hmm. everybody is, you know, we, we went out, just to be honest with you, we did go that, out Eddie. for a couple drinks last night in mm. celebration of New Year's. It's just... We're so tired all the time. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't quite last. <laughs> okay. Betty. Betty, 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 Betty. I have a couple questions for you. And I'm not trying to go real life on you here, Betty. But, you know, you put this stuff out on the daily, so I just have to ask. You keep saying you're working. This is your job. But, Betty, aren't you disabled by your own admissions? Aren't you getting a disability check because you're unable to work? But yet, you can go traipsing all over the place, walking through the woods in the wintertime, standing for hours, standing and walking and heckling on the street for hours in front of people's homes, streaming live on YouTube multiple times a day for hours. But you're disabled and you can't work, Betty. It's a fair question. You keep putting it out there saying about it. You even tell people how much of a disability check you get. But you make a lot of money on YouTube, Betty. That's easily found. I mean, any creator can check it. Um, anybody can check it, really. You know, are you turning that in, Betty, to the IRS? Because if you were turning it into the IRS, then disability would know you have income, which would affect your disability. Um, just asking, because you're the one that puts it out there. I just have some questions about it. And another thing. You're, you claim to be one of the most up, law-abiding, upright citizens. Mm. You're a nuisance. But anyway, that's just my opinion. Isn't drinking and driving an eagle? Because you said you had a couple drinks. Could be two, three, four. You know, a couple drinks to you could be five. We know this. We know we've seen, Betty. I'm asking, if you had a couple drinks, who drove? Because drinking and driving is illegal, and even two drinks in a lot of places can put you at the legal limit or right above. So, um, I just hope you weren't behind the wheel, you or olive oil, after having a few drinks, is all I'm saying. Miss Law Abiding Citizen. We were home, what time were we home? Like eight? We went back at like eight or nine. Yeah, we were home. Early. We don't care. We don't care. Sorry if you guys are getting uh, motion sickness. I'm trying to hold it still because I've got that camera going there so you guys can get good quality of uh, this like? when I get to a stopping point <laughs> we'll put this up so what 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 good quality of what because uh, you haven't told us good quality of what I I'm waiting Betty I'm waiting and Betty motion sickness isn't what you're causing it's sickness but it's not motion sickness Betty just saying Here's the parking lot that close. A Look at that lot? body of water. Oh my god, the there's a lake. Dumpsters. And there's another dumpster More right dumpsters. over there. Oh my god, you're on them dumpsters. Like this you know would what? be. We can walk out there. I think there's yeah. a. Betty, since you're searching, this is what people gave you money to see you actually do. Are you going to go look in them dumpsters? Because you're really obsessed with them dumpsters. Hence the dumpster fire. Anyway. I want to see you go to those dumpsters, lift them lids, take your bullhorn, and yell at that trash to get out your way. I can hear you now yelling, banana pill, move over. Happy eating sandwich, I can't see, you're blocking me. You'd be screaming at them mother effers. But I want to see you climb in that dumpster and actually look. I know the dumpsters have been emptied a few times, I'm sure. But that doesn't matter to you, Betty. You, Because why are you doing this? It's You're not... It's, what are you doing? This is ridiculously stupid of both of you. But let's continue because they're going to give us a half a tour of one road of the town. <laughs> and then claim it's a complete tour. <laughs> yeah. I not. I can't make this make sense. I, I can't. Yeah. In my head, I can't get it. 
that these people give these clowns so this money. is really close to his apartment i think uh we okay. estimated about within two thousand feet yeah yeah okay. within two thousand feet you guys got to remember brian laundry was only 25 uh two thousand feet or and yeah. what does that have to do with this case about one thousand so yards yeah okay what do you, so if he was 1,000 yards and he was about 3,000 feet, so this is... Uh, okay, Betty, have you counted this to make sure? Have you measured it, Betty? Because I can't take your word on anything. And why are you inserting laundry into this case? They have no, The cases have nothing to do with each other whatsoever. Totally different stories. Totally different kind of cases, Betty. Yeah. Clay Bader. It's about, yeah. But look at that. Look at what? Look at what? Looks like the trail's right there. Mm, there's a trail probably because people walk down to the water, Betty. And there's a lot of places. Then there's our, This is already a dumping ground. Look at these tires. Uh, wow, that's tires. important. Get in and search in this tires. area. Search. Get in looking in tires. You never know. You're supposed to be searching. You're not so. You also have a hole right there. Well, then, darn it. Look in that hole, Betty. Come on. Now, do some and searching. Like Get down there. Cover thing. Lift the cover thing. Do something. For those that are just joining and wondering what in the world you guys are looking at, we are. We are wondering one thing what in the world you're we doing. We know has not been yet found is the murder weapon. And I don't think you're looking for it, Betty. You're not searching like you promised everybody that's what you were going to do. You didn't look in that hole. You didn't look in one of them tires. You didn't lift that cover thing. All you're doing is walking around streaming on your phone, talking. You're not actually searching, Betty. So therefore, you should give refunds. Because we don't know what we're looking at. So we're just seeing if there's any possibility of this animal. <sighs> Dropping this thing sure, he just somewhere around his sight. home, okay, his apartment, and uh -huh. really close to his apartment, we've seen this body of water on the map. So we're just coming out here, and you guys are just That's coming with us. That's breaking news, people. That's breaking news. Look at everything and see okay. if there's a possibility. A possibility, but you don't think law enforcement is somebody coming out here and pitching some evidence yeah he's just gonna just pitch it right down for anybody to find right across the street from where he does betty basically yeah but you haven't got down and looked at none of this stuff look at them dead weeds look at them trees come on there was a drain pipe there you didn't even look in again betty you're not searching change your description because you're not searching we always find people like bodies of water and things mm. that make things disappear really quickly. Oh, Betty, you said a And make it hard there. to discover. Isn't this Whoa. crazy? Look at this. It's, it's, it's crazy. just iced over. It's wintertime in There's Idaho, There's so much Betty. ice on here. Even if it is out there, it's going to be forever before they can find it. I cannot. Look, Betty, it's wintertime in Idaho, and the lake wasn't frozen over when the crime happened, Betty. But, you know, you're the investigative reporter. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> you need to look <coughs> near power and electrical sources oh, with don't water to your chat, near Betty. it. That's part of your problem. Well, there is a, a field. I mean, I don't know if you can... <coughs> and there's a... Uh, you know, I don't know if there's any more electrical or power than... Mm. Being right next to a field. Okay. Yeah. What what importance is that? See, this is what I'm talking. There's people that feed into this crap. So I'm gonna ask people. I'm gonna ask you. Let me know what you think in the comments. Who's more problematic, the creator that does this ridiculously stupid stuff, or is it their chat, their subs? that encourage this, that give them money to do this. Lots of money. I cannot make that make sense. Who's, and feed this, you know, they feed this ridiculousness. Who's more problematic? 
Is it the creator? Or is it the subs in chat? Or are they 50-50? 60-40? What? I think it's a combination. Honestly. See? But that's just my opinion. Are you searching for the weapon? Yeah. We're just... Okay. You just said yeah to searching. But you have not got down on all fours and searched anything, Betty. We're waiting. We're waiting, Betty. Betty, 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 Betty. You might have to give some refunds. We just stopped and we were just looking around, you know. Mm. We're just trying to see what in the world. The problem is with this, this guy is he really had no friends, you know. Nobody, he didn't now, really. remember what she said. Because that's going to change back and forth. In every which way, she's going to twist everything. She does what Betty does. But remember what she said. This guy has no friends. Hang out he with anybody. Nothing. He was a loner out here. Nobody knew him. Okay. We're coming to find out he's only been here three months or four months, rather. He's only com completed his first semester. Could that be a reason why maybe he didn't know a lot of people, Betty? There was only one semester. There's a lot of college kids in that town. There's faculty, there's townsfolk. Yeah, Betty. Hmm. Okay. You sound so ridiculous. As a PhD student mm -hmm. here at Wazoo. And he was a teaching assistant as well, So Betty. he has no friends. We have no one to talk to about where he was. You shouldn't. Yeah, whoa. You and olive oil, Bullhorn Stranger, should not be talking to anyone. You should not be inserting yourself in this case like that, ever. It is an open, active investigation, Betty and Olivia. They are still putting together their case. Why on earth are you trying to talk to anyone? You are not law enforcement, and you damn sure aren't reporters. You're not media. You're a YouTuber and a TikToker. And Olivia Olive Oil, you don't do documentaries, dear. You do TikTok videos and YouTube videos. Get over yourself. But no one should be talking to you. Why would you want to take the chance of possibly tainting the witness pool, Betty? That could be tainting witnesses. It could be for the defense or the prosecution. You could be given the defense things to fight with. Stop. Stay out of it. It's not your business to talk to anyone what he's doing, anything like that. Uh, law enforcement is going to really have to look at his social media. Look at that. There's like a pumpkin or a, I guess it's a little buoy. Oh, I can't, I can't. Oh my God, uh, breaking this. news. There's a buoy I out can't the water, uh, zoom people. in, but there's like a little, that little uh, oh, dot right there. It's like a buoy. How is that important, Betty? I agree. I thought he would be, he would keep it somewhere he could. What did you say? There she goes again. Pay somewhere he could go time. back to. As a trophy, it's possible. This is like really close to, and there's a bench right there. There's a bench. And a whole bunch of these weeds. And hey, people, there's a bench right there. You know, there's that buoy out in that water. You know, in the middle of the night, this dude came down, made sure he threw that murmur weapon right exactly at that buoy for it to sink. And then he went back and sits on that bench so he can revisit the murmur weapon. Now, I watch crime shows, and yeah, it, these kind of animals have been known to revisit crime scenes or where they put the body, but not where they put the murmur weapon. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but only bullhorn. Only bullhorn. You know, those little hot dog things. These are the things my parents, when I was out in Mayaka City, told me to go pick a switch. Remember those days, guys? Our youngins don't understand what a switch is. For all those youngins watching me, you want a thicker switch. When your parents go and tell you to pick a switch, you want the thick ones. Okay? <laughs> it, it's better on the bottom. So just don't say Bullhorn Betty didn't help you. I just <coughs> helped you. Me. Pick the thick switch. You'll be happy you did. Oh, my goodness. I have plenty of experience. <laughs> oh, that cackling witch laugh. Oh, Betty. Betty, 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 Betty. Don't worry. I'm not going to ever take parenting advice from you. I have never taken a switch and beat any child. I have never beat a child with anything. I never would beat a child, Betty. Um, so, 
and we all know you're not a parent. Kids don't want you. Hold on, my little boy's out here. What? Go watch it. Love you. Sorry, my little one wanted to let me know the cat pack was on, on Paw Patrol. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Betty, I would never take parenting advice from you. That's all I'm saying. And I can believe that you were problematic. And, I mean, by your own words, you've been problematic your whole life. Uh, you, there's proof of that. And I doubt any youngins are watching you. And we all know you're not a mom, and you have no youngins, because at your one attempt at being a stepmother, by your own admission, failed epically. Epically, the kids were removed because of abuse, Betty, by you. Yeah, not because of just your spake on the hand, Betty. Um, yeah, just saying. This is your own words, Betty. So, but there's all this stuff here. It could be hidden in here, you know? It's possible. I don't know. I don't know. But I haven't... That, that's the truest thing I think you've ever said. You don't know. Thing, something to look at, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just something to look at. Something to look at. And um, let me turn this camera around. What Give me is just it a second. Anybody, so you Betty. guys can see me. What is it showing anybody, Betty? What are you showing us? Get to your point. Oh, All right. There that. I am. Hey, guys. Nice to see you. Don't it's forget to go out and that. like this segment. You know, there's not a whole lot of people this out here of giving you a tour up. of Wazoo, giving you a, a full tour of. Brian uh, Kohlberger's apartment, you know, looking for new stuff. Oh, shoot. I just realized. Betty, you really need to get over yourself. You really walk and act like you're an investigative reporter out there. You're not. What's a full tour, Betty? You were in the parking lot filming the outside of the building, an apartment building, Betty. You didn't give a full tour of his apartment. You never even made it to the doorway, and I hope you never get inside it. But again, Betty, you're twisting things, misinforming. Nobody came to Wazoo, Betty, because nobody cares. It's not the crime scene, Betty. He wasn't even there when he got arrested. He was in Pennsylvania, Betty. And he lived there very briefly. And by your own words, he didn't know anybody. So, again, the importance of all this, what are you finding that is new? You presented nothing. Nothing, Betty. And this next part, she's going to really get it full of herself, acting like she's some investigative reporter. It is hilarious. Best part of the video, if you ask me. <laughs> the camera on the other phone just still going in the car. Oops. Okay. I have Oops. some cutting to do on that video. No, okay, Betty. Uh, but Ice Lake. Here we go. Does the Ice Lake that's right around the corner from Brian's home, does this hold any keys? Does this hold any evidence? Is there any bags that are dropped under this ice what? sunk to the bottom of this body of water? <laughs> it's possible. It She's is possible. For real. She's um, for again, real the people. one thing law enforcement <laughs> has to find is that murder weapon. That murder weapon is key. Betty, <laughs> and that was a stellar, stellar performance. I'm standing up and giving you a clapping hand, Betty. That was brilliant. <laughs> oh, she's really full of herself, thinking she's some big reporter. Uh, but at least comb your hair and fix yourself up a little bit because be professional because that's what a reporter, a professional investigative reporter would do. They would present themselves as professional as well, Betty. Just giving you some tips. <laughs> Law enforcement is still asking for people um, that... Betty, they're proceeding without the murmur weapon. They have DNA and other evidence. The case is proceeding. Yes, it would be nice if they could find the murder weapon. That would be just... Hmm. 
and the case is very active and open and ongoing. And you need to get out of the case, Betty. Stay out of it. Oh, Brian, come forward. Come forward. I just Not dropped the, the full interview of um, <laughs> oh, uh, John Doe 1. Part. I know Olivia had dropped it herself. Excuse me. Um, for but I put the full interview in. Is the car unlocked? Oh, my goodness. Here. Oh, you're going back to the car now? Okay. So, um, the full interview, you can catch on mine. Um, oh, my God. Uh, but very interesting, very enlightening. <laughs> Did you catch all that? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> I got this cold, and I can't shake it worth of nothing. Betty, you nor Olivia should be interviewing anyone. That dude could have been a possible witness. Now you tainted the testimony, so he's useless, Betty. And Olivia, great job. Did you bet anything he has said? No, you have not. You don't know if anything he said is true. You don't know. And you shouldn't be talking to people with the case still very much being put together. You idiots. You idiots. And then she's got to up one, her lap dog, olive oil. Yeah, Olivia put it out, but I put the whole interview on my channel. Go check mine out. This woman is so self-absorbed and greedy and selfish, she can't even give her lap dog kudos. Oh, my God. <laughs> You one up in olive oil. Shame on you, Betty. Betty, Betty, Betty. Uh, Nine-year relationship ended uh, because of how verbally abusive um, Brian Koberger was. Uh, this guy described him as something wrong with him. He didn't. He lacked uh, knowledge of human emotion. Uh, very that curious like as to why people you. felt the way they did. This is somebody that had some major serious. Uh, problems. Okay, look, I didn't watch that interview, and I'm not going to, because I don't think they should have done it. I don't think they should be harassing and stalking people to get them to talk to them. They are not reporters. They are not law enforcement. This is still an active case. It's still open. Um, they need to stop. They've been asked to stop. They've been told to stop, and they don't. They double down. I Also, we all know there's nothing ever factual that comes out of their channels. Look at the fake recording that she lied about taking down. But she didn't take down. It's still there. It's just she changed the title of the video. But the recording's still there. She didn't take nothing down. Um, pushing off that picture of his sister supposedly at the crime scene, videotaping the crime scene. All the while, she's in Pennsylvania at his extradition hearing with their family. It was an investigator that was there. Not, her, not his sister. There's no way on this earth that they would let a family member go video the crime scene during the active investigation and contaminate the crime scene. This idiot doubles down on this stuff, and these idiots that follow her support it and give her money. I cannot. There's no rationale here. There's no way to rationalize any of this because no rational person would do the stuff they're doing. None. And olive oil is just as bad. Just as bad. That maybe his parents overlooked. You know or didn't nothing want about to acknowledge. Him, we but hear I would his not parents. put no credibility into anything this John Doe has to say, especially coming from their channel. Anybody that would interview with them is questionable once or five minutes because they're, they're, they're very problematic. And all you, it takes two minutes to figure that out if you go look before you talk. I'm just saying are the nicest people in the world they and he's be. put his parents through pure hell throughout their life. And there you go, talk it out your ass. You don't know that, Betty. But you, on the other hand, have said that you have great experience being switched and happened to pick your own switch. So we all know you were pro problematic your whole life. I think you're projecting. I'm not defending this animal. In fact, I, I'm just probably going to piss people off when I say this, but it is just my opinion. I really think this case warrants the death penalty. 
I really truly do. That is my feelings. No one else's. Why should taxpayers spend hundreds of thousands of dollars keeping this man in prison? Because he could he's young. He could lead a very long life. All the while he gets to visit with his family and stuff. He gets to eat another meal or watch another TV show. Doesn't matter if it's in prison. He still gets to be here. Those four beautiful young college kids don't. They don't get a chance to do anything. Their families don't get a chance to visit them. So, you know, in my opinion, I think he deserves the death penalty. And this is like the the, the sprinkles on top, you know. He, he feels so bad for his parents. Uh, mm -hmm. We've heard the sentiments of other childhood. Betty, you're telling me that the murmur, the horrendous, brutal murmur of four innocent young college kids is sprinkles on the top. Betty, you know, you say a lot of stupid stuff. A lot, a lot of garbage comes out of your mouth. But you just never cease to amaze in what you say, Betty. You really don't. Friends <clears throat> talking about how his parents were super, super uh, sweet his and nice and they don't do deserve this. this. He was a grown and, man. He uh, didn't live at home. You know, we don't know what happened or why you don't. his dad came here you and don't. got him and drove the car back. Did his parents know something? They're stating at this time they didn't know anything. I would like to believe him. He seemed like a very manipulative, cunning type of guy. Guess what, Betty? It don't matter if you believe them or not. You're nobody in this case, Betty. You're nobody in this case. Or in any of the cases you insert yourself and be a nuisance and a queen of misinformation and clickbait. You and Olive Oil and Mallory and Molly and Justin, though. I do give Justin credit. He has backed off. He told Molly what she was doing, what you guys were doing to the surviving victims and to this story wasn't right, and he wants no parts of it. I'll give him that much, but that's as far as it's going to go. Ooh. But you don't know nothing. Actually, you don't know nothing. That is cold. It's so Idaho. cold that, that uh, ponds are frozen over. It's Idaho. So it's winter, guys... Betty. <laughs> That's not a shocker. What's wrong so, with your hands, Olivia? Oh, it might be a little cold. <laughs> oh, man. I can't with that cackling witch laugh. Yeah, I we've can't. been putting our we've been putting our mittens up here in the dash so they can keep they can get nice and toasty before we put them on. Great information. This is what so, your followers pay for. All right, where to next? Okay, let me stop this one. Mm. Um. Oops. Hold on, let me turn this around. Well, we'll drive around. That's what we'll do. Okay. So you got thousands of dollars from your followers to pay for this trip for you and Olive Oil to drive around some little farm town, some little college town that has no importance in the grand scheme of things. It's not the crime scene. They have no idea where he went, what he did. Oh, my God. Because of people like this, there is a gag order. And unfortunately, we'll wait months for any info. But Lord, I hope we don't have to hear this for the next six months because I just cannot. I cannot, cannot, cannot. But it's because of people like this that there is a gag order. <coughs> All right. Say hi. Excuse me. Hi, everybody. I guess, I, there we go. We're going to um, drive around. I'm thinking whether or not I should go live. Maybe later. And maybe later. Oh, I can't maybe stand later. that bacon, isn't that? I think that's why her and LB trigger me, I, I think, because have, I, was thinking. I see through them. They are not the naive, innocent little things they try to portray. They are the most conniving, sneaky, cunning, backdoor people in ever, in my opinion. But, girl, you know you're going live. Shut up of maybe going I think we should make our way to King Road. Why? And along the way, why? We see what 
possible areas he could have disposed of the weapon. All right, hold on just and, a second. Let me get out of here. The police <laughs> maybe have looked in areas. I mean, they have expert profilers fix the seat belt. <laughs> who are educated and trained in this field that profile these animals. You don't think they've been looking? I, I, I just, you really think he's just going to throw it alongside the road for anybody to see and find? Are you kidding me? This is what your followers gave you money for. This is insane. Guys, ask for a refund because you've been you've been duped. If anybody knows, I do not like. I will if I have to, but not today because we're in and out of this car so much okay. today that it makes it too difficult. And so. yet again, we got Miss Law Abiding <laughs> Citizen here breaking yet another <laughs> law, guys. riding around without her seatbelt because she don't like them. So you guys are going to go for the ride too. Oh, geez, there everybody, buckle up. Oops. We're going. Let's go. It's so exciting. Oh, let's go. So this is basically from his um, community. We're about to take the trip from here over to King Road. Mm -hmm. So you guys can take the tour with us. Why? What's the purpose? Put the address And you in. haven't showed this whole town. You have not given it, given a complete tour of Wazoo. You know. You've been up the Wazoo, but you haven't given but a look complete at that. tour. That's a ball field. Oh, get out. See? A college town has a ball field? That's important. That all is like the fields and stuff like that. So, okay. like, literally right next to the water. And I can, you know, everybody's talking about how athletic this guy is. So, this being the closest area to his home, I would think he would frequent or exercise out here or do something. Don't think, Betty. Don't so there's think. the ball field. Let me show don't, this don't phone. Think. But that's big news that there's a ball field and there's water. Okay. That's that's really big news, Betty. That's that's a brilliant discovery. Sorry, guys. Brilliant. I'm having a little technical difficulty here. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Uh, I might just what have to put the phone doing? back on it. Okay, I'm going to try to fast forward through this because they'll be at this <laughs> in a minute. Let's see if I did it. Okay, okay they're driving. Flip the phone around the other opposite nah, they're way. They're still working on it. No. No. Okay, let's try again. Ah, uh, yeah, like that. Sorry, guys. Let me help Olivia. There. Only okay. in here four months. Okay, now he we're driving. He just completed his first semester um, in his PhD uh, graduate class. His first semester. Semesters last four months. So he's been here, or three months, three or four months. I'm not sure. So he's been here 90 to 120 days only. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm curious As most to of the find out his specific there, amount of days he's been here. The Why? crazy part about Why? it is that, um, you know, he did that poll uh -huh. over 200 days prior to ever coming to this college. So, I mean, not 200 days before ever coming to 200 days ago, which means he did the poll long before he came to this college. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, did he come here to live out this? Hey, Betty. Yeah, we've heard about this poll, but you have no idea the meaning of the poll. Neither does the main story media, which they've said. It could have been part of a, his senior, his master's program, a thesis or something. He could have been writing a paper for, for his Ph.D. program. You never know. You don't know. She's an idiot. It doesn't matter. It's. The first semester, all the kids have only been there one semester. Oh, she's such a, I, mm, I can't. I this can't, twisted, can't. effed up fantasy, or is, is there something more going on here? Did one of the girls? Betty, kids go to college all over the place. The, I don't think he went the whole way to Idaho. Actually registered, got in, and is attending the Ph.D. program as well as being a teaching assistant. Betty, to do this. I mean, I just say, I think it was, that's where he was. It would have, wouldn't have mattered if he would have been in Timbuktu. Doesn't mean he planned to go directly to Washington and just do that at that specific university. It's, it, it, yeah. But nobody knows, and they don't put this stuff out as speculation. They put it out, these whacked-off theories, as facts. Oh, you got to hurt Pa. Oh, the squirrels hurt. Oh, my God, that's going to break my heart. Oh. 
make him feel insecure. We know he had a superiority complex. Um, or at least that's what's described from a lot of the people that knew him is that if he felt that you were superior to him, he would, um, you know, talk down to you and make you feel less, uh, emasculate you, I think is what uh, John Doe one said. Yeah, I agree too. And I'm curious to know the encounter, if, if there even was a meeting or a passing of Maddie, Kaylee, and and um, Brian, or even in Zena, I'm curious to know what if they met at a bar briefly, or you know, there's so many. Um, from what I've seen, they can't find any like true personal connection. Did he target them and follow them around? I mean, this house is set up pretty weird. Um, there's no way that was just spontaneous, and he went in there. How weird this house is set up, and how. You know, the the floor plan is just different. I think he's been in that house, in my opinion. He had to have known something about the floor plan. Um, yeah. But, I, I can't with these guys. We don't know, but I just can't help but yeah. speculate. Well, well, yeah, I just but, feel like for this to be, to do what he did, it, I feel like he was angry. And there has to be a reason behind that, and Olivia, stop. Olive oil, of course there was anger and rage to do something like this, you idiot. Oh my god, these people. I just feel like he met them physically. Yeah. Mom, don't. don't. Yeah, it is don't possible. It's it's possible. Yeah, you don't it's possible. What do you mean? You, you don't know. You keep saying you don't know, but you feel this, you think that, you're speculating that. That's not what you're doing, though. You guys put things out as facts. You have no clue. Go away. Stop. Go home. Damn, there's another squirrel. You guys had your peanuts this morning. That he met him because, I mean, these uh, these colleges are very close. Okay. Very close. I mean, we, we, we are no even popping back we between them. We don't know. This whole trip. Yeah, just 10 minutes. Okay. It's not far. It's not hard either. We don't know though. That's just it. Yeah. No one knows. I help. I can't help but wonder if they all met. Sure, they did. Well, it. I have a funny feeling. There's a here. lot of college why. kids in that town. You know, there's a lot of college kids. Do I think he was actually in that residence because it was like a revolving door? It was a party house. A lot of college houses are party houses. That's no shade. The kids were doing their thing. Could he possibly have been inside to understand that weird floor plan? Yes. Um, did he maybe, you know, check out the place prior to it? Probably. I mean, the dude is pretty smart, you know. So they say. Um, but, yeah. Oh, these two are a lot. But yeah, I just have this gut feeling like he came here to search out targets. Oh, gosh. I, I don't know why it's so far away from his home. You know, he could have taken this program at a college or a university much closer <laughs> to Pennsylvania. You oh. know, he just. See, Betty, this is where you not being a parent of a college age kid would have no clue. Plus, you never went to college anywhere away. Oh, you did online at home on your computer. But a lot of kids go across the country to go to college. That is nothing unusual. That is nothing alarming. A lot of kids don't go to college close to where, close to home. No surprise, no shocker. Olivia, you need to do what these kids are doing. You need to go get some education and some training in this stuff. You really do. Because you clearly always say, I, I don't know. You, you don't know. You keep saying, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You don't. You don't know anything. But you're still happy to pass out rumors and misinformation. You do it all the time. And you add to it and make it worse. You're a major part of this, too. Olive oil. Something's not sitting right with me, and I could be totally, totally wrong. Totally my speculation, oh, my theory. Are. 
no basis with factuality whatsoever. Yeah. I don't want anybody <laughs> saying, oh, the Lord Betty said on her show, you know, da, da, da. No, that's my theory. That's my, my thought. Betty, thank you for that. That's probably one of the truest things you'll ever say. But trust me, we already know that anything that comes out of you guys' channels is not factual, is not fact-based. We all know it's not true, like the faked audio, the picture, and there's so much more. More, and attacking victims, and more. There's just so much. Betty, we got you on that. We got you, we know. Process, you know, as we're um, finding more information out about this guy, this guy's a true creep. I mean, just a creep to women, a creep to men. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't sound like and there you go, uh, he was very, you he see, adjusted Betty. well with people at all. No. Um, okay. You know, I, I just don't know. What does he that's, get his... That's it. You just don't know. But you're happy to put out misinformation and lies. Because you believe everything you see posted. You believe every comment that comes into your chat. And you run with it. You run with it, Betty. Oh, nonsense. I want to borrow one of your terms. Misinformation crony only. She's right up there at the top with the queens. I'm telling you. But Betty, trust me, we believe there's nothing factual that comes out of you. Money for our college rent food. Oh, they, uh, just like everybody else, you know, with this whole uh, initiative they put forward of no, no student left behind garbage where every student can get student loans. Those student loans cover housing, garbage. they cover the rent, they cover this? food, they cover oh my literally God. all your living expenses while you're attending the university. And that's really she why your no university costs about. go through the roof because you're loaning for house payments, car payments, food payments, elect, you know, everything payments. Betty, you need to really start, you're, you're, you claim to be in politics but yet you just said all that. You think no student left behind is garbage? Are you an idiot? Are you a bigger idiot than I thought you were? And your little lap dog sitting over there co-signing this crap? Garbage education? These kids live the high life off loans? Operative word, loans, Betty. These college kids spend years paying off these loans after they get out of school and start their careers without outrageous interest rates. Years, Betty, because unlike you, they pay their bills. And I'm not shading you for not being able to pay your bills. It sucks out of here. It's hard as hell. But you deliberately do, Betty, because you're making plenty of money off YouTube. But they are loans, Betty. And there is nothing garbage about an education, you idiot. And those loans don't come from the colleges. They come from the government. The colleges aren't loaning that money. That's not why tuition is so high, you idiot. And kids got to work. Those loans don't cover everything. They still got to work. There's books. There's lab fees. There's any equipment you need. There's other expenses involved in going to college, Betty, besides tuition. There's college kids that struggle really hard to get that education financially and live off Roman noodles just so they can get an education. But then you wouldn't know anything about that because you don't have one and neither does olive oil. You, you, you don't know what you're talking about. Garbage. You're garbage. Not an education. No, no student. You're garbage. I forgot. As we're driving along, we, let's look for possible places. Is there like, I thought there was a river somewhere. But I guess well, even right. just uh, just along a these river. roads, I mean, they're so desolate. It. I mean, you could literally throw something yeah. just driving by and just out the window. And another thing that I was, uh, when I was making Do you really think that a PhD student who really thought he was getting away with, the, with this would just drive right down the street from his house or in between his house and the crime scene and just throw the murmur weapon out the window, Betty? Really? For all to see and find? Oh, my God, her and Olivia. Yeah, the pond. 
something oh, that came to mind on. was, I mean, he trekked literally across the country with his father. His father flew out, and they drove back to the city. And it took you being All at the pond to realize that, that? He could have just threw it out the window. I think he would have disposed no, of sir. it. Because if I, know, if I am... Do you really think he held onto that murmur weapon for a month? And Olivia, it took you being at that pond, which was a breaking discovery for you guys, because it had a buoy and a bench and a dumpster that you didn't search. But do you really think that nobody even considered that theory either? But, you know, I mean, I'm just asking. I doubt he held on to that murmur weapon for a month and then decided just to dump it along the highway somewhere. Yeah, okay, then. Okay. Okay. And... His parents seem like loving parents. They probably, in the back of their mind, knew something was out of place, but didn't couldn't put their uh, fingers on it. But you don't um, know the people. You don't know nothing about them. But I guarantee them. You don't know. he was very cunning, and I don't think he would have. But he could have. Don't guarantee anything, because you can't, Betty. You don't know nothing. He could have been sneaky and had something in a backpack and went into the use the restroom and dumped the... The weapon, but I don't know if somebody would be stupid enough to have the weapon on him that long because he didn't go back home until December 17th, right? Almost a month later. Yeah, exactly. And it was eerie and creepy that when we were standing First out, year. we were standing out in front of Wazoo while he was still attending the effing school, dude. I will never forget when, when we were in front of the sign. I had, I looked back. At oh, it here and she I goes. Went over me. Mm -hmm. See how and she acts when I she knows like, she's going to be dishonest and add the fluff. Like, he's here. I don't she's know. Not telling the truth. It's so creepy, but I just had this thing like, gosh, he's here. And he was. He, he was, was literally within a half a mile away from that spot. Are you kidding me? And Olivia, you can tell when you're ready to be dishonest and spew this, this garbage that you're spewing because you flutter your eyelashes. You give that stupid, innocent smile and laugh. Guess what? There was people sitting right beside him in class and didn't know it was him. Yeah, figure that. But you knew when you went down there that the killer was still at large. You had no clue. Shut up. Stop. This is such so ridiculously stupid. Where we were. Nobody stopped at Wazoo prior Wonder why, to Betty. Born Betty in Chronicles of Olivia. I don't even know if anybody has stopped by Wazoo since why should until they, Betty? they found out it was Brian. We got the first dibs on the possibility of the connection with Wazoo. And damn, that was Pater. Oh my God. No, you didn't just say, did you just say that's Pater? <laughs> How's that Pater, Betty? Wazoo's not the crime scene. You was up the Wazoo, as they say. You was in, you was. You only did, you didn't give us the complete tour, like you said. You only concentrated on that road in front of his apartment. And that road is what leads to their apartment. So, to their house or to the crime scene. You didn't give no complete tour of anything like you promised you would and said you did, Betty. But it's not Pater because Wazoo is not the crime scene, Betty. He wasn't even there when he got arrested, Betty. He lived there for a very short time. A lot of college kids live there. Why do you think no real investigative reporter is out doing this crap, Betty? Just asking. <laughs> Peter. The focus was on Sigma Chi, Sigma, but still, it's oh, not over Peter, yet. Yeah, maybe a, a party that happened there is <laughs> where where the victims or one of the victims met a suspect. You but we did try that. to tell everybody, lay off the kids, lay off the roommates, what? lay off Jack, lay off Jake, That's lay off a lie. Jack That's a lie. They weren't the people. We came out here, and as soon as we saw... This property the first time, we knew it was something more sadistic. That's an outright lie. She has attacked the surviving victim over and over again. She has pointed the finger at anybody and everybody. Her and JLR and Moose Knuckle and Dolly and Olivia. Oh my God. What a, they are such liars. That is an outright lie. Then a um, entanglement or a you know, something, but I knew it was going to be petty. I knew it was going to be petty. petty. And this is going, we're going to find out that this was petty, petty. something petty. This guy had a fantasy. Betty, you say a lot of stupid shit. You really do. But this takes the cake. It's right up there at the top. The murmur 
the brutal, heinous murmur of four young college students is petty. His fantasy about it is petty. Wow. First you called his sprinkles on the top for his parents by him. Now you're calling it petty. Betty, I got a new nickname for you. Petty Betty. Let's go, Petty Betty in olive oil. Shame on you for co-signing this crap. He either stopped these people or there was an altercation that he felt he was um, uh, inferior and he needs to feel superior. Again, the power aspect of it, which we discussed mm. our first trip here. Okay. We're hearing that. Um, you watch ID Discovery, Betty, because that the criminologist, you know, the criminal profilers, the professionals will tell you what some just bits and pieces of what you said because you twist it around. Um, but usually, yeah. Okay. I can't. I can't. There's, and again, this, I can't make it make sense. This is not confirmed, confirmed. But apparently, his phone was pinged. And it, that's why they said it's possible he stalked the girls for a few weeks because his phone came very close to them for a long time. But this is just an article I read. And at this point, he knows, but it's just like a rumor maybe. Yeah. Hearing. Okay, then why are you passing it along? If you know it's a rumor and you know it's not confirmed, you're passing it along as if it is and adding to it. You're creating the situation. Olivia, stop thinking. Stop passing on misinformation. Stop passing on unconfirmed rumors, Olivia. How about that? Because you don't know. And yes, there's been some talk of some phone pings. I'm sure there is going to be a phone trace. I know he did shut his phone on and off. Um... I've seen the real media reporting on it. I've seen it on, you know, news and stuff. But this girl, I cannot. Because it's hard. Because we know that the uh, official source of information. As far as the phone pings go, I think the defense is going to have fun with that. And they are. Because the universities are so close together. They could have been in the same area because of school and not even known they were in the same area. You know what I mean? It's possible, and that then their phones would have pinged. But then if her their phone is pinging, you know, his phone's pinging exactly on top of theirs. You know, we don't know that, though. We just know that there was some phone pings, and, you know, the defense can have a field day with that, of course. And these idiots... Just can't stay out of it, out of an active open case. They have to taint the witnesses and everything else, possible witnesses. It's from the police department, but, you know, we are YouTubers and TikTokers, so we yes, have to it. decipher things that aren't, uh, being, that aren't no, coming don't. out from... No, you um, don't. Law enforcement, and we do bring those. We do bring those up as speculative in nature because they didn't come from law enforcement and should not be taken as true. But because they're coming out, we do discuss them. That is such a whole load of shit, Betty. That is the furthest from the truth that you've come in this part of the video. Not in the whole video, but in this part of the video. You report on anything you hear. You make up stuff to report on, Betty, like this whole trip. What was the purpose of this? It's been pointless. You've showed nothing new. You've searched for nothing because I didn't see you down on the ground searching for nothing. Neither one of you. So you scammed your followers for money for this little vacation for you guys, a New Year's trip, because you've actually accomplished nothing. Nothing, either one of you. Give your subs their money back. This was really a waste of money and a waste of time. Yes. And in terms of the the, the people like Jackass and Jackie that were just picked apart. I feel bad for them now. And I saw a TikTok. Oh, now you feel bad for them, Olivia. 
now you feel bad for them? You and Petty Betty and your little buddies DLR and Moose Knuckle and Mallory have attacked these people out the gate from day one. Dolly, and yeah, Justin, you put out some stuff you shouldn't have either. Oh, Spanky Boy, you're not innocent in all this. You just backed out because you knew they were going too far. But you co-signed this. You do, and now you feel sorry after you contributed to all that? Girl, wow. You know, uh, I, some people are saying it's Jack S's sister, but it could be a family member or a friend. I'm not sure. But she made a TikTok video. Again, she doesn't know what she's talking about ever. Really hateful things people are saying to her family about Jack S and awful things. And they're, he's, yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's hurting, of course, because if you just Google his name, there's thousands of articles tied to it. For the rest of his life, those articles will be, on, like, behind his name. Yeah. Hopefully and that doesn't affect him getting a job. And you contributed to that. You and your owner there because you're her lap dog. Which I don't get because you get more views than she does and you have far more subs than she does. But that doesn't mean your subs are all active. I don't know. I don't care really. But you are her lap dog. Or vice versa. I'm not sure. It's weird. I hear some things, you know. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to go there because why Olivia and Betty are so tight. Um, I, you know, I don't know. Supposedly her mom's employed by Betty. I don't know if that's true or not. I mean, I can't imagine. Betty's cheap. I can't imagine Betty paying anybody. But listen. <laughs> Let's just finish this because we're almost done. Yeah. That's the video I online. I can. You guys watched me go through pure hell from people throwing everything under the sun that absolutely had nothing to do with anything. Shit that happened 10 and 20 years ago <laughs> as to why I, I can't be a YouTube content creator oh. <laughs> in uh, true crime because of past discretions or something like that. And oh. what the what social media has tried to do to my name is simply disgusting. And that's why I came out and fought for them. And it's crazy. Who did you come out and fight for, Betty? Because I haven't seen that yet. I've seen you attack the victims. I've seen you put accuse other people of, of, of crimes and, and point the finger. I haven't seen you come out and support anybody because you've attacked these victims, Betty. I've got video of it. But, Betty, social media had absolutely nothing to do with your name. You did that. Your actions, your behaviors, your multiple violent arrest, and you're very violent. I mean, you try to strangle your own mom, Betty. Come on, Petty Betty. You've been busted with drugs. You've been busted under the influence. You've been busted naked. You've been busted. You've been busted. But you get on here and you call everybody crackheads and junkies and criminals. And I think you're projecting because you've done all that too, Betty. And it's not 20 years old. You are problematic. You can continue to be problematic. You continue these behaviors. You, not social media, did any damage to your name. Whether there was one to damage or not. That's a, a personal opinion. I mean, that's just an individual's opinion of you. you. You damaged it, Betty. You caused it all. Take accountability. Because... YouTubers are not all the same. We've tried to take the high road, and we tried to what? be uh, factual, fact-based, uh, oh reporting on this case. Uh, we had a personal connection with this case. Okay, I'm sorry I keep stopping it. Betty, when have you ever taken the high road? When? I have not seen it. And when have you ever put out anything factual, Betty? We know how you fake things. We know how you twist and drama, dramatize everything. Yeah, Betty, you're not being honest yet again, Betty. Um, you know, and then you have all these haters. And then Adam mm -hmm. writes Chronicles of Olivia. What does he say Olivia's to you? Now, mind lie, you, Adam and R, this. we've Watch taken, her. we've had she his back. She's not believing the stuff we, she's spewing and saying back up with front, Betty. You can tell by uh, her Chronicles face. of Olivia Watch as well as myself, we never. Just watched. She's going to, she is not. 
she knows that the stuff they're spewing right now, some of it is misinformation, and some of it's coming from her. And she knows that, and you can tell. You can just tell. First stated that he did anything. We were curious as to what uh, the girls told him everything about, but we never thought of him. Betty, I don't think this Mike, this business owner, gives two shits what your opinion is of him, whether you support him or not, Betty. You're... You have no meaning, no bearing in his life. It's none of your business if he did talk to them girls and what they said to him. It's not your business. It's not olive oil's business. You are not the law. Betty, get out of town. They told you to get out of town. As a suspect, because we did not believe that they, you know, that whole little clique was suspects because there was, it was more heinous. You know, there was more brutality it, it, than what would have came from some kind of disagreement like that but but he no one cares what you think um i can't, I can't really remember exactly but it was pretty lying. it was basically saying you're all you Olivia. youtubers Look at you. your that eyes are fluttering there's a, you're lying. There's, a, a, there's a post going around that the university of idaho it's like barstool sport instagram page they post like a meme well not meme but like a, like a screenshot like a twitter post that said like f you um true crime people or whatever and i mean i understand where they're coming from of course no you don't and you know exactly what kind of post was sent to you by them okay olivia you went from it being an instagram post to a name to a twitter post a screenshot you know what it was olivia they don't want you people there they ask you people to leave the police have warned you the families have asked you to stop and none of you do you double down Go home. Leave these people alone. Let this. Let them build this case and make this man pay for these crimes. Don't take a chance of tainting anything in this case. Get out of it. But you're lying, Olivia. You knew what he said. You knew what was sent to you. You knew exactly what kind of post it was. You're lying, and it's obvious. And now you're going to laugh about it. Because you get what they're saying, but yet you double down. You're an idiot. Now you're going to think it's funny. Because you know that you're being dishonest in what you're saying. And it shows. And it's not funny. Go home. No, but that was something that was sent to me. <laughs> so, and it's kind of crazy because now. we've actually been very wow. uh, good about making sure everybody no, knows lying. you know don't attack these people even there was more said Bethany, in that post than that that was sent to her by them for them to leave but she thinks it's funny she thinks by playing this stupid act she couldn't remember nothing didn't know if it was an instagram a meme a screenshot a twitter post she knew exactly what was sent to her but anyway let's just get back into it because they're lying here they have never told people not to go after the victims or any of these people. They incite that kind of that kind of mob mentality. That's what they want. And Dylan and all of them, you know, we still very curious how they didn't hear a thing. Betty, I've got video of you attacking the surviving victims over and over again. You and Olive Oil sat on that panel with Moose Knuckle, Molly. And you went after that girl. And then your buddy Molly and Mallory did it again and again and again. And you've done it again and again. You're lying. You incite this kind of behavior. All of you do. Why are you always lying? Why the F you lying, petty Betty? But we also told everyone. Oh my God, she's lying. She's lying. That's an outright lie. That is an outright lie. And that's their audio. I can't fix that. I don't know what happened with them, but it's not important to Olivia saying anyway, I'm sure. Because she knows nothing. But they have another comment, and then we're done. But I, I, I can't with Petty Betty and Olive Oil. And from now on, she will always be Petty Betty to me, since she thinks this crime is so petty. They are unbelievable. I, I still don't you take it past now. the chat rooms and take it to them and take it to their front door. That's not fair. We didn't, and I told everybody up front, we did not have 
uh, enough what? evidence to, to point a finger. It's not like this is Quentin Simon's case where we had so much overwhelming evidence that mom did it what? that it, you, you couldn't dispute it. You know, it was... Betty, you had nothing, okay? You're not law enforcement, Betty. You had nothing. And anything you would have would have zero credibility. Would not be evidence, Betty. You were a nuisance. You interfered in that case. You made it a nightmare for law enforcement. For that town. You were a heckler on the street. That's it. You interfered. You got arrested. Or your buddy got arrested. Rightfully so. You should have been arrested. All of you should have been. But as soon as the law had enough of your behavior and your shenanigans and your heckling on the street, and they put up, they were going to start enforcing the law, you ran because you knew. You knew. And now you got yet another town making laws, enacting laws, so people like you can't come and do what you did there anymore. They're a nuisance. They knew nothing about this case. Nothing. This was a waste of trip. This was a waste of subs money because people gave them money for this trip. They accomplished absolutely nothing. Showed nothing new. Uncovered no evidence. They did absolutely nothing. But anyway, guys, I think that's about it of this video. I know it's a long one. I'm sorry. Hit that like button and subscribe. I'm trying to get my subs up. I appreciate all of you for taking the time to listen to me, for liking, and for subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much.